Hi everybody, it's Amy at Crafty Cat and I'm here to um, talk about the Faux Memo M02. So um, if you would like to see one, you know, check it out. You can go to um, Google or whatever your search engine is and type in Faux Memo and then their Faux Memo home will come up and you can see what they've got. Um, this is the one that I have. Um, I got the little piano one, obviously. And then they have pink, white, black, and kind of a robin's egg blue or whatever you would want to call that. Mint, I guess it would be another good one. So anyway, that's that. And then if you do get one, the first thing you need to do is charge it until the light stays green. When it's blinking, that means it's charging. Um, once it's, you know, fully on like that, that means that it's done charging. Um, to turn it on and off, you have to press it and hold it. So um, it's not just like click and it's on. You have to hold it for a minute until it turns green and then you know it's on. So that is that. And then there's a little um, like arrow key here. That's what opens it. So you just push it the direction it points. And that's how you can change the paper on the inside. And I was really kind of wanting one of these and fortunately, very fortunate and lucky, they contacted me to see if I would, you know, do a video on it. So they sent me the faux memo machine and then they also sent me some um, rolls of paper. And this one is the, I think this is, yeah, this is the gold. It's transparent and I'll print something out on this so you can see what it looks like but it's a transparent gold sticker. You can kind of see a little bit of the glitter right there, maybe. Okay, and then they also sent me uh, more of the white rolls. So you can buy the rolls of paper to go back in here, and it's very easy to do. You just um, pull these apart. They have like a little, almost like a toilet paper um, roller, you know, in there. And so you can pull that off, put a new one on, which we'll do in a minute and then just make sure your paper is coming out this way with the blank side up. There's writing here, but the blank side is up because this is the side it's going to print on. Um, this, that's the little thermal printer up there, so you don't want to touch it a whole lot. And um, there's teeth here too for cutting the paper, so be a little bit careful with that edge. And so we're just going to place this right back in there like it was. You just want enough to, it doesn't have, you don't have to pull out a whole bunch. Just enough so that it won't get caught up when it starts to print. Close that down and then my green light is back on. And make sure that um, you charge it completely before you use it and also um, unplug it before you try to pair it to your phone because it won't work if I tried that and it doesn't work. <laughs> so um, let's see, so you just go to like your uh, Play Store or iStore or whatever it's called on your machine or your phone. And then you're just going to type in faux memo. And the little like mushroom, pink mushroom comes up. And um, mine's already installed, but you would press install and then it'll download to your phone. And then to pair it, um, when you come into let me see, where is mine? Hold on just a second. I had it up on here and now I don't see it. There it is. So right now it says it's disconnected, so I'm going to tell it to connect. And the first time it'll print out um, one of these and you have to scan it on your phone to connect to it and it comes with step-by-step -step instructions and they're 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 good and they're simple like this is all it is so um, it tells you what everything is and the flashing light and what that means and battery warning and um, you know how to charge it and then how to get it started how to put the paper in and that's literally that's it so it's really not hard at all Okay, so you can uh, print images that are on your phone, like I have, I um, downloaded some of these from Pinterest, but I can also do just like, say, my cat, if I want to print my cat. So I pick that image, and then make sure my green light is solid, like that, and then I just push up here to print, and say done. And there he is. 
and it's black and white this isn't a colored printer so it, it's because it's a thermal printer it's a, like a heat embossing kind of a process and um, these images that you print on here last 10 years and then that color starts to fade you can uh, my son looked it up you can blow dry it or you know like use a heat gun on it a little bit and the image will reappear but um, so I think if I used it I would use it in journals that maybe or parts of journals that if it did go away it wouldn't be a big deal like maybe tags or something like that and they're just little images so it's not like you're printing something huge but the other cool thing is you can use it for um, it says you can scan I haven't tried that yet uh, print images which we just did uh, horizontal printing so it'll print like more of a banner style like if you want to do numbers or um, label something in your house, you know, like your something in your cabinets or whatever to organize. Um, you can make to-do lists and you can do Word documents and I haven't tried that one either. But And it works on all these systems, operating systems. And it's Bluetooth and then it has a lithium battery. So <clears throat> the way you get an image from Pinterest here is, let me see. Sorry, I'm a little clueless on this. Go to Pinterest. And like, let's say I want this lady with her cat. So I tell it to download image. So now that image is downloaded to my phone. And then I have to go back into, oops, it's right there. Faux memo, and I have to connect it again. And then I want a print image, so she's right here. So I just hit print. And then this part where it says fine, medium, and thick, um, that gives you kind of the darkness of your image. And I printed some out the other day because I was kind of playing with it just to make sure I knew how to use it before I did a video. And so this image of this little girl I printed on fine and you can see it's a lot lighter this one I printed on medium which is kind of where I've been keeping it I like it best there I think um, and then I haven't tried the thick yet because I think it would just be too dark because this already has darkened her face a lot and you can't you know really see it but um, this one I mean this is a good image too it's just a little bit more pixely looking so so I'm gonna leave it at medium for this and then I'm going to say done. And this one may end up being too dark. Like it may have been better, um, lighter. But let's see. So that's that. So yeah, I just think it's super fun. And this is one of the banner. I did a banner of 14 there. And I'll show you how to do that. So we'll go back and we'll do, you can do notes, like I can um, type in, um, so I just said, I just typed in, hi, my wonderful subscribers, and then printed that out. So you can print out, you know, again, like, things for your journal, write down, um, like, if you had a picture in there with your kids, you could write down, you know, what they were doing and all that kind of thing. So that's super fun and also um, good for labeling and bullet journaling and things like that. And then let's see. You can change the fonts or the text size, I guess this is, so see I could do it really a lot bigger. Is this? Oh, see I changed the font, so that one's called Lovely Days. Here's, that one's cute. So it's a different type of font. So you have a few choices for your Font. I think this is cute, so let's just print that. So see, that's super fun to put in a journal or something. 
And then, oh, we did the images already. I'm just checking to see what they all are. Oh, so there's emojis that you could print out. And these are all little choices down here at the bottom. Oh, that's the QR code. And that's just the... Um, all right, and then there's uh, templates, and you can see there's all kinds of cute little images that you can print out. Let's do these funny little cats with hearts. Those are cute. And so, um, this one, um, you can type with your finger. And then I can say, print. Or you can leave it blank and then you'll get like a blank square of that same, you know, in the middle. Um, I did one kind of like that. Let me see if I can find it. Oh, where did I put Oh, it's right here. Um, see, this one I just printed out a to-do list, but I didn't print anything on it. So you could write on it instead of having it already printed, but you could also print it. So that's kind of fun. That would be fun for like um, kids' lunches or things like that to put in their lunch. That would be cute. I used to do that when my kids were little. Bless you, son. So um, that's that one. And then let's see. Oh, micro print. It prints like the same way this was, just super teeny tiny. Probably good for bullet journaling or if you're going to write like a whole paragraph or something like that. So that's what that is. And then toolbox. Oh, this is the banner, where the banner is. So I can type in, uh, let's do like just the number five. And then you can see down here it's, it's bigger right there. So I'm just going to do that. And I'm going to change my thickness. Oops, no, I don't want to change my thickness to thick. Just let's see what it looks like. Oh, it doesn't change a whole lot. It did make it a bit darker, and you can kind of see the, the glossiness of it, maybe a little. Let me see where the one. But it, the size isn't any different, so it really doesn't change for that. And then the ruler's kind of fun. The only problem for me is it's in centimeters, but um, if you live overseas and that, the, these are kind of fun. I mean, they're cute. They'd be cute in junk journaling anyway because they print out and they look like this. And you can make them as long or short as you want them before you print them out. So those are kind of fun to play with. All right, and then let's see. I haven't tried scanning yet, and I'm not sure how that one works. I don't know. Okay, so let's try, we'll just use this uh, calendar that's in their thing. So I guess I just take a picture of it. Okay. And then you could rotate it or whatever, but we're just going to say it's good. Oh, look at that. That's kind of cool. It did it in a different, because it's a scan. It looks a little different. That's kind of cool. So see, that's what I scanned and that's what it ended up looking like when you scan. So that's fun. Uh, you can clean, what's that mean? It's really neat how it looks a little bit curved too because the paper was curved. I don't know, adjust. Oh, so you can make it darker by adjusting the light like that. Erase. So if I want to erase something, I can erase it. Uh, clean. What's clean? I'm not sure what that means. Or you can create a folder if you wanted to save that image. So that's cool. That's not hard to do. So I think those are all good. Let's, um, oh, there's these down here too. There's different, okay, so this is where I found the calendar, I remember. There's different um, graphics that you can choose for like a bullet journal or something. I guess I don't have any more. But up at the top, there's newest, so they're saying the newest would be like the Happy New Year stuff. And then there's festival, 
which has all kinds of Christmas, I think there's Halloween, there's snowflakes, um, let's see, it's mostly Christmas it looks like. Oh, there's like some pumpkins with faces, some witch hats, uh, some honey candles and skulls. <laughs> Frankenstein. So yeah, there's just, you know, fun little things down there. There's comic, which um, it's all kinds of different images that you can print out. Let's see, let's do one of these. So you could either use it like as a whole thing like this, or you could, um, you know, snip them apart and use them in uh, your like your little planner or you know whatever. So that's those are cool, and you can color these. Oops, what's this one? The profile. Oh, this the profile one um, tells your usage and all that. Oops. <laughs> Technology. Hi. So um, I think we got all that done, so I'm going to set this over here, turn it off, and then I'll show you how we change the um, paper, and I haven't done that yet, so this will be new to me too. So we pull these apart, maybe, I just am afraid to mess it up. Because this paper, I don't want it to all unwind like crazy. So I'm going to try to try to keep it as tight as possible. There is one of those little uh, like cardboard tubes in there, so I'm going to put a little piece of washi on it because I don't want it to just all go zinging away. So just be careful when you're you know, moving those around. And then we'll put the new one in here. Make sure that'll be right. It just has to go that way. Okay. And then they put a piece of tape around it. Ah. Oh, sorry guys, I didn't even say I hope you're having a good day. I just got, you know, excited. <laughs> I was tickled with this. I think it's fun. Oops. Yeah, I got something wrong. So I got to look here. It has like little um, spots for that to, you can see. Trying to make it so you can see, there's a, just a little divot in there, and you have to make sure these go the right way, where that that those fit right into like that. So that's what you. So I've got something backwards and upside down. So that won't work. So I did have it wrong. So I'm going to have to take this off. Sorry, my phone's ding donging away. I guess if I would have read more about this part, that would have been smart. So I'm just switching sides so that they fit in the right way. Okay, so this one with the little hole goes on the side by the on-off switch. And this one is solid, so that might help a little bit. You just set that in there. And then we're just going to pull, we don't need tons, we just need it to go far enough to the edge. And you can see that's very glittery. And this is transparent. So I'm closing up my green line. Light is back on. I need to get my phone on here. And let's try. I like the toolbox and the banner. I'm doing 14s, you know, for Valentine's Day, so. Um, let's do medium. I don't think we need to do maybe. Okay, that did 
do it a little rough on the edge there, but I'm thinking it's because that was the front of the um, print. So let's see. Let's do an image. I want to do one of these cards. And I want one with, um, ah. There were more of these. Where did they go? It's mostly my stuff from, well, I'll just do this guy with the top hat. I wanted one with the hearts, but that's okay. I could go back to Pinterest and get that. I got these off of Pinterest and I downloaded them just like I showed you. This is maybe a tiny bit harder to rip, this um, glittery paper, but I mean it's not bad. So see, to me that looks a little more vintage, so I like that. Um, you can ink them up, but you can color them too. I have one here. Let's do this this lady add a little like I got these Tim Holtz distress crayons and you can also use like um, what are they called that's not going to stay on there the alcohol markers and things like that so I just thought this might be kind of a good thing just add like some dots of pink I finally figured out the arm on my camera so it wobbles a little more when I do things to it but I don't have all the legs and things now so thank you to my sister because she gave me that for Christmas so it's just a single arm and then if you rub these you know they will it just is going to kind of tint it instead of make it real dark so this is kind of a fun thing to do with um, old images because you can still see the black and white but And the sooner you rub um, with the distress crayons, the better. You don't want to like, you know, do the dots on there and then leave for a while and come back because then it'll have set and you really can't rub it out as well. So the sooner you rub it, the better. I just want to make sure you guys can see. Sorry. <laughs> These are very fun. Like I said, I was kind of wanting one, and then it was amazing when they contacted me. But I really don't think they're um, terribly expensive either for what they are, because it's, it's pretty amazing. You can print this stuff out, you know. Maybe we'll just put a touch on her cheeks. It's kind of hard because they do have a fat-ish tip on them, but if you just add some little spots and... This side's a little darker. Well, I don't want a spot on her. Come this way a little. It just doesn't want to do it as much on that side, so we're just going to leave it with that. Just maybe a little up on our hat. Just to give it a tint. oopsie just slightly tinted and you could use you know other colors as well so that's just kind of fun all right I'm gonna get some stuff together and I'll be right back okay hi I'm back I got um, some papers together these are from after midnight design her Valentine journal number one these postcards so I'm gonna use those we're gonna make a Valentine's card and then I've got lots of her little stuff uh, cut out that we might use so 
we'll keep that. And then her papers, her Valentine's papers as well. So I'm going to set those over there. And I need an exacto blade. If I can find it. Oh, there it is. Sorry. It's hiding at the back. So what I'm going to do is I cut out one of her postcards and I'm going to just, let's see, I need to move this up and move this out of the way a little bit. And, oh, I forgot to tell you guys, it does come with a little charging cord. <laughs> it's always something I have to forget. I can never remember everything. So I'm going to cut on this just from this edge. Try to stay as straight as I possibly can all the way down to the other end of that little love note thing. Okay. Like that. And then what do I do with the little one? I'm going to use our lady that we printed out. And this little postcard, another little postcard, I think it will fit in there. And then I just cut um, this piece of paper, you know, for a four by six card. I don't know what that was. Something's crashing down down there. Everybody's home, so. Um, first, though, I want to do a little stamping on here. And I think I'm going to use uh, Tim Holtz, Stampers Anonymous, uh, Ledger Script. I don't use this, the, the bigger one, very often, so I think I'll use that. This fold was not exactly the straightest in the world. Just make a little Valentine's card. And I want to go in this direction, so I'm just going to kind of go around randomly. I'm not trying to get the whole thing. Ugh, this ink pad, I can't get used to it. It's too wet. I mean, it's good because you want to see it, but at the same time, it's, wow. My daughter's planning a surprise birthday party today for a friend, so she's off to go do that. I thought that was super sweet. They're all, all working together. I'm just stamping off on this book down here if you're wondering what I'm doing. Just to. And a lot of this you're not even going to see, so. But. Will work. I need to ink around this. We've got rain pouring down today. It's kind of ick out there. Love you. Have fun. there just so you can see that that's a, a slit there. I actually might want to take another little some kind of paper here. Got some of my lace. that much of that. These, this foam memo is, I think, great for cards, too, because then, obviously, um, if the image fades in 10 years, chances are people probably aren't even going to have it anymore or whatever, so it's really not, that's not a big issue. I 
don't know if I'll be able to see any of that. I like that little cupid. I'm going to try to get some of them and see if I can't. Yeah, so my sister got me um, the arm, just the single arm for my camera. And I couldn't figure out how to do it. We tried all different things and it was it wouldn't open wide enough to um, hook onto this table that I use. This is actually like a, I don't know, wine storage kind of a table or something. I don't know, we got it on a, a like door buster Black Friday thing when we first moved in this house. And so... Um, yeah, I I couldn't hook it onto that. It's just got a really wide like lip on the on the table, and so um, I finally was saying I think I could hook it to a book and then put some stuff on the book because the camera is heavy but not that heavy. And we talked about it and didn't think it would work and all that. And then finally yesterday I tried moving all my stuff over to a different table, my kind of folding table to see if I could do videos there. But then I'm like, the whole thing's going to shake if I, you know, do anything. I like the sturdiness of this table. And plus we didn't have many um, plugs or anything over there. So I um, hooked it to a book and... Wonder of wonders, it worked. <laughs> so, um, hooked to a book, and it just has some, you know, some of my crafting, like, supply jar things that are full of scissors and all that kind of stuff sitting on top of it, and it holds it down just fine. It's just wobbly when I touch it because it's just on an arm that you can move all over. So, I'm going to use a bit of this, I think. So yeah, I'm excited because I finally get to use it. So thank you, Megan. It's awesome. It's a wonderful gift. So I'm going to cut her out and put her on um, that little postcard to see what this is going to end up looking like. And I don't need a lot of this black that's around her. Kind of, kind of round the corners a little. So yeah, I got my mess cleaned up after making my journal and all that yesterday, so that was good. But now I'm making another mess because that's what I do. <laughs> uh, we all know, we all know how it is. And I know this is this way, but I don't, it doesn't bother me. So yeah, if you have things like this, I always try to take advantage of that, um, you know, having that edge right there, because they often make good little tuck things. I'm going to use another piece of the pink doily here. Kinda just have something behind her. Just a tiny bit of ink just to make it not so... Now I'm wondering if I'm going to be able to get the image off of the paper after cutting so close around the picture. That was probably not a great idea. Oh, fiddle D. All right, I'll be right back. Okay, hi, I'm back. I had to like tear the corner a little bit to get it to um, release that. So maybe the note to self there is to um, release it from the backing before you um, cut it down to whatever size you want it. It's all live and learn, right? Okay. I'm going to put a little glue under the doily. I 
I don't want to cover up the 14 a bunch, but. And this is sticky paper, obviously. We have discovered that, right? I'm going to take her a little over to the side more. I'm going to kind of squish this a little bit. Like I was saying the other day, it makes it look a little bit older. Like it's kind of been tattered a little or something. together. I need my glue book. Use that piece for something. Put this up a little. So thank you guys for all your kind comments about um, that Valentine's journal. It was really nice. I really appreciate it. You guys are awesome. I'm going to squish a little on this too. Oh, I got ink all over the back of my card. <laughs> Shocking. Okay. Stick up right there as high as I can get it. Ah. I'll glue the doily to itself. <laughs> Wherever you do see it, it'll have a little, a little crunch. Okay. Turn it with its end down that way. And come down a little bit more. Uh, kind of did weird with the glue all over the place. Oh, whoops. That was not smart. Okay. So you just saw my mistake there. Um, don't put the glue too far up here because this is your pocket, right? So let's get a... I'm glad I caught it because I've done that many times. I'll just wipe off that glue down here and we'll just put a bead of glue from the um, art glitter glue. was brilliant. Set this over here for a second. So if you catch yourself, it does come off, but just try to remember that's a pocket there. And you can glue all the way on the top, but Just gonna make it look a tad bit older. <laughs> I 
And this will fit in here if I get this laying down right now. It's kind of wobbly from putting the wipe on it. And she can just tuck in there. And you can take it out and write a little message on it or, you know, whatever. Just kind of a fun little interactive piece on your card. You could even uh, stitch a little fabric to the top of it or something if you wanted to. And then you can put... Uh, Happy Valentine's Day or whatever. It would be, you know, even fun as a, a birthday card, even though it says February 14th. If you have February birthdays, I've got quite a few in my family, so. Um, yeah. All right, so let's print out a little something with the gold and see. Oops. What is it doing? Oh, I'm connected already. Uh, I'm going to do, let's do the toolbox and do, like, banner. I wonder if you can change the size. I haven't tried to do that. Hmm. I don't think you can change the size on that. Let's just... I won't let you look at it once it's on. Oh, there we go. And you can't change it, huh? Oh, it goes that direction, too. That's cool. By pushing this little button down at the bottom. So let's try instead of doing it that way. Um, I don't want microprint templates. I'm trying to think where I found my notes would be good. Or we could just do like love and then I don't know what images do. Couldn't remember how to do that. <laughs> oh. I don't know how to find it now that I did that. Oh there it is. <laughs> This is all news to me, let me tell you. Okay, so somewhere here, there was, oh, there we go, no. Couldn't you change the font? Remember how we saw that? No. Let's try this again. make it bold or italicized, but maybe we'll do it italicized since I can't figure it out at the moment. I'll have to play with it some more. Oh, what am I doing? Oh, it's down there. Duh. Okay, let's see. What happens when you don't really pay attention the first time you do it, right? Oh, it already has love right here. <laughs> Maybe we'll just do... No, don't save it. Um. Huh. Well, maybe we won't do anything because I can't figure out how to do numbers on there. Maybe you can't do numbers on this part. Not the QR code. Oh, there we go. I don't want that. Um. Yeah, there we go. Because then I don't I don't want it quite as big as that uh, one before was. Will it change? Oh, it will change it this way too. 
Let's do this one. That looks older. Let's just try it and see what we get. Yeah, that's a little bit more of a manageable size than the great big um, banner style, I think. So I'm just going to cut off this side. Sorry, that's, you know, technology and me are not uh, fast friends. But I know I'm not alone in that. Okay, so see, you can see that's kind of uh, transparent. So let me put it on here. Let's put it a little bit over the roses and over the writing. So there we go. A nice little Valentine's type card. You could add a little heart or, you know, whatever too. I just don't have one at the moment to, to, at the ready here. Oh, let me see. I do have them right there put stuff away and that totally blows me up when I do that. I can't ever find anything. This is just one I cut out with my one of my die cuts. And it's kind of a shiny, a little bit shiny paper on one side and regular on the other. It's a little bit square. I might try um, some tearing of them and see if that works or not. I don't know that it will because it's a little bit plasticky, the sticker itself, on that transparent shiny one. But anyway, just a little idea. It's a, definitely a fun little machine. And um, so yeah, go check out Fomemo and I'll leave a link to their um, online store in my description box below this video. So just push that little arrow on the right side. There's a little gray arrow underneath the video and then my description box comes down from there. You can't see it unless you push on that little arrow. So I hope you guys all have an awesome rest of your day and a good weekend and we'll chat again soon. Bye-bye now.